It's the favourites for the FA Cup against the favourites for the League Cup. Nobody doubts that Liverpool and Leeds United are capable of winning trophies, but can they still offer any hope to those who back them to win the championship, I wonder? Liverpool can move into second place in the table today. A late goal by Ian Rush, MBE, extended their unbeaten run to eight games last weekend. But it wasn't enough to win him a starting place in an unchanged lineup. Wright and Harkness complete suspensions today. And Jamie Redknapp is almost fit to resume too. Leeds just four points behind Liverpool and without the injured Tony Dorigo in addition to their African contingent away on Nations Cup duty. Brian Dean, who scored the winner here last season, is free from suspension, but joins Rush amongst the substitutes. So Lee Chapman, whose return to the Leeds lineup lasted just 26 minutes last Saturday, keeps his place. He'll be doing his level best to keep his arms down this week too. Paul Durkin is the man in charge. We'll not see any white flags being waved on the championship battleground just yet. But someone, somewhere, has got to make their move and make it soon. Gary McAllister. Gary Kelly. Looking for Chapman in the corner. One or two eyebrows raised when he was signed on loan. I think one or two jaws dropped when he was selected in preference to Brian Dean today. Now, who's Terry Venables watching? McManaman, Fowler, Collymore, Chapman. I think he's had crazy suggestions during the course of the last year or so. All given away by Scales. This is Speed. Rowley moved infield so that uh, Kelly could have the right flank to himself. Space for Gary Speed. Well, believe it or not, he's one of the best headers of a ball around. Barnes. McManaman. Here's the last player that you want running at you like that. You can go either way came inside and the shot didn't quite match the uh, menace of the run Brolin McManaman making a sturdy challenge Collymore space for Mappetier three ahead of him Mappetier's cross oh and Gary Kelly had to deal with it it was hit with a bit of pace, but it did seem to be in goalkeeper territory when it uh, whizzed into the six-yard box from McAteer. But Beanie stayed where he was, and Gary Kelly, facing his own goal, had to do something. Taken by McManaman, Barnes at the near post. There's a fine line between the relaxed rhythm which uh, Liverpool have turned on in several home games here this season uh, hint almost with bravado and arrogance about some of their passing and movement but times today just look to touch casual and quite clicked as yet I think a bit of edge maybe but McAteer's won that for Fowler and here's McManaman blocked by Weatherall might come from McAteer well, they hunted the ball down there with uh, a little bit more relish. Forced a mistake out of Carlton Palmer. With a message for John McGrath in the cup stand. Take Rob the Jones. Here comes Ruddock. And here comes number one. He takes some stopping when the ball's delivered like that. Neil Raddock gives Liverpool the lead. They forced that corner, quite literally. Forced a mistake out of Leeds United. And they made the most of it. And Neil Ruddock on an irresistible rush into the penalty area. Thunder the ball into the corner of the net. Four 
run made space for McAteer. Fowler let it run, McManaman, Fowler! Oh, that was delightful. Jones is there. And so too is Gary Speed to clear for Leeds United. Claws ringing round Anfield for a highly polished Liverpool move. Fowler's finished stretching Mark Beanie. Chapman doing well to find Berlin. He's got Wallace wide to his left. Rob Wallace. Corner kick. Just clipped off John Scales. Rod Wallace, who's got his chance in the last couple of games because uh, Tony Yabora is away playing for Ghana in the African Nations Cup. And they're making good progress too. David James. Ruddock. Jones made the run. Good pass of the ball, Neil Ruddock. Some power in that uh, left foot, but uh, good touch about it too. <laughs> and he says out, you get out. Chapman's header. Wallace, down for Gary Speed. Oh, good save by David James. Well struck by Gary Speed. James is a big man, but an athletic man, launched himself to his left to uh, claw it behind into the cop for a corner. His first test was a big test and he was up to it. Five minutes and a half remaining. James wasn't so sure that then, but he was fouled by Carlton Palmer. David James was away in Milan during the week, um, taking his uh, place on the catwalk in an Armani fashion show. Times change, don't they? I don't remember Tommy Lawrence doing that sort of thing. But uh, he's a Liverpool goalkeeper in a long line of very good Liverpool goalkeepers. McAllister picking out Wallace again. He's gone away from Scales here. Rob Wallace. Not quite a, a spectacular save by David James, but because he's a big man, he had to get down very quickly there. Wallace squeezing in the shot. Lead. It's nice for speed. And here's McAllister. Jones taking no chances. James looks back in the direction of the fullback, but I think he probably did the right thing. Gary McAllister's forward run was threatening Liverpool. Worthington's corner. Headed by Barnes. Palmer finding Chapman. It's come through to McAllister. Again, beautifully struck. A little closer to David James this time and at a nice height for the Liverpool keeper. Plenty of power though. And plenty of good technique from Gary McAllister. He is one of the most uh, gifted midfield players in our game. And one of the most influential. A lovely pass from Barnes to Jones. Worthington's got to deal with this and does. Well, Liverpool took time to get up to speed. 
Their early play was a little woolly around the edges, but uh, Razor Ruddock gave them the cutting edge with a thundering header. Liverpool's uh, performance picked up after that, but Leeds yeah, finished the half quite lead. strongly too. It's 1-0. Leeds were actually the very first league leaders of this season's Premiership. You may recall they uh, beat Liverpool at Allen Road with a Tony Yeboah wonder goal during the opening week of the season. When a lot of people were confidently predicting that half a dozen or more teams would be uh, locked in Championship battle deep into the uh, season. Collymore. McManaman. Certainly uh, Liverpool and Leeds are amongst the clubs with the will and the wherewithal to be potential champions. Fowler into Rob Jones, coming to the ground by Weatherall, referee has a long hard look and shakes his head. Gary Speed. It's interesting that it'll come as a surprise to a lot of people but Liverpool have not been awarded one single penalty so far this season. John Scales. Speed. Won the ball. Foul is in possession. Now Jones. Well, he's never scored for Liverpool. He's been with the club over four years now. But he thought he was going to score then. And he's certainly got on the dangerous side of David Weatherall. Arms are linked. And a little bit of push and shove. I think Jones is unlucky. Top end. Saturday running, a Leeds player leaves the action early. It was an honest enough attempt to win the ball, but it was mistimed, and a foul in that vicinity is uh, always likely to bring with it the ultimate sanction for the referee. Jones was clearly denied a clear goal-scoring opportunity. Liverpool's first penalty of the season then. Robbie Fowler. Top end, 2-0. There's just a limitless supply of goals for Robbie Fowler at the moment. Nine in the last five matches here at Anfield. 22 for the season. Beanie had to guess. Guess right. No, couldn't get anywhere near it. Watching better balls, I dare say, will pick the cry for the car. He is. Jones again. And leads are shaken here. Cousins towards Wallace, though. We'll have to wait for the cavalry to arrive. Might try and go to low. Well, three kicks from Gibbon. He's right on the edge. The uh, linesman on the far side of the field, Michael Ryan, 
indicated to uh, Paul Durkin that he thought there was an offence there. Bab ran across Wallace, good yard outside the box. Leeds need to make something happen and happen quickly if they're to get back into this game. Worthington takes. It's come all the way through to Rod Wallace and it came to him at an awkward height and he couldn't quite make anything of it. Bab to Jones. McManaman. Fowler. offering him an option down the touchline, Collimore says I'll go it alone. And here's Fowler, that's three. And Robbie Fowler with two quick strikes to keep up his strike rate here at Anfield at the moment has killed off Leeds United's hopes. Stan Collimore, not for the first time of late, Fowler's provider. Quite apart from his undoubted ability, Collimore is quite a physical specimen, isn't he? Strong, fast and direct and he committed leads there. And Fowler just gobbled up the chance at the far post. But nobody could quite catch up with Stan Collimore. Jones. Collymore. Quite sure how he felt to reach that. McAteer. Collymore again. Well, he did better with the more difficult chance. Again, Leeds United stretched by the uh, Liverpool width. Good cross with his uh, unfavoured foot by Jones. game these days. Sammy Lee, Ronnie Moran, Roy Evans and Doug Livermore sat in a row, all born within five miles of Anfield. All former Liverpool players, all boyhood Liverpool fans. Barnes, Fowler, McManaman, Collymore, McAteer. Collymore has gone on the outside. Fowler, Thomas Jones There's a bit of Matador and Bull about this McManaman to Collymore United just couldn't get near the ball. They passed it and passed it and passed it and Collymore thought why not and Beanie actually dived past it. Birthday week for Stan Collymore, 25 next Monday. It's been a happy Saturday. One by speed momentarily. When he had that effort saved by James brilliantly in the closing moments of the first half, that was probably as good as it got for Leeds this afternoon. Those two goals from Fowler in the space of six minutes, allied to the dismissal of Kelly. Collingwood trying again, the back of Palmer. 
kept in by Fowler for Jones. Goals for Collymore and Fowler again this afternoon. Barnes. Collymore. Barnes. Collymore. Not by Weatherall, it'll be a corner. Really found himself in the last couple of months. there for a moment Neil Ruddock just rubs it in it was a thumping volley if he'd been another 20 yards out I think it had still got in and Beanie probably did well to stay out of the way of that one that's it for the first time this season, Liverpool have moved into second place. That fifth goal means that they've won five home matches in a row and scored 21 goals in the process. They're on the kind of run that can maybe carry them higher than second yet. It may still be a cup-winning year for Leeds United, but could it still be a championship year for Liverpool? I wonder. Well, they're in the mood today. 5-0.